Hey, Dan. Just what the hell are they doing down here? So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a sin? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. There are no other options? Too much is at stake to allow you to simply leave. Let me pose a question to you. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? A war, really? Is it that bad? Hundreds of kidnappings over the years. Ask the survivors if it's really that bad. And there are so many other tragedies that may be their responsibility as well. You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth, but the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth, but one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Wait. Covenant's a refuge? Over the years, we've recruited like-minded individuals, all of our lives shattered by the Institute. Covenant is primarily about administering and refining the safe test. But some consider the humanitarian side equally as important. If you destroy what's left here, their lives will be upended again. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. We cannot allow you to go on torturing people. Then you'll just have to kill me. You should come.
Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. Impressive. Well, it's no General Atomics back in the day, but still, Come not back. too shabby. It's over. Huh? The missions must be protected. See if you had anything worth taking. Right away, sir. What just went? Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. You holding out on me? They call me Honest Dan for a reason. That's exactly half of what Stockton agreed to pay me. Not one cap more, not one cap less. Be safe, Dan. Same to you.